We've all heard stories about that brilliant person who found a loophole and got a big payday. If you wish it were you, pay attention to these stories about exploitable loopholes. If you've ever wanted to eat for free in a first-class restaurant for a year, or own a new golf cart free of charge, pay attention to these 10 loopholes you can exploit to cheat the system. Amazing! Number 10. Give him credit for that one. If you've ever signed up for a credit card, only to find out your variable interest rate went up or the no interest for six months deal didn't apply, you probably understand the frustration that led Dmitry Argarkov to pull a fast one on a company called Tinkoff Credit. First, he took the offer they sent him and read it. He decided the terms were unfair, so he scanned it into his computer and changed some of them, including giving himself a 0% interest rate, no credit limit, and no fees. Also, he added a $100,000 fine if the company tried to cancel his card. Then he sent the whole thing back to Tinkoff Credit, where it was automatically signed without anyone reading the terms they assumed were the ones they sent out. When they did notice, they tried to back out, but a judge ruled the contract was binding since the credit company signed it. No idea if this will work with other creditors, but we'll give you credit for trying. Number 9. Keep getting those student discounts. After paying for college for four years, which for some might include paying back student loans for 40 years, you probably need all the help you can get. Many people have reported using their non-expiring student IDs to continue getting discounts for years after graduation. If your school allows you to keep the email address they gave you that ends in .edu, you can continue to use that for discounts on some types of software. As for your ID, if anyone looks at it too hard, just shrug and say you were going through a phase in freshman year. Nobody looks the same two years in a row in college anyway. Number 8. A First Class Solution The airport is a great place to game the system. For example, this enterprising boy band member actually managed to avoid a bag fee by wearing every item of clothing that had been in his bag. Hey, he followed the rules of the airline. They apparently think clothes weigh less on a human than in a bag. On another note, many people have flown first class without even having a first class ticket. There are a number of tricks to achieve this, but chances are that if the front business and first class seats aren't taken and operational upgrades occur, simply asking politely could help you snag a better seat as flight attendants have some discretion over who gets the seat, even though computers generally allocate upgrades according to flyer miles. But flying first class has benefits beyond roomier seats and better snacks, even off the plane. Many airlines offer free meals in the VIP lounge with a first class ticket, and some people have managed to game the system and eat free for a number of years. One famous travel hacker, Justin Ross Lee, frequently simply buys refundable first class tickets, then chills in the VIP lounge at international airports and eats for free. Before his flight lifts off, he cancels and rescheduled his flight, which he repeats again and again and again. One man in China did a similar thing, and a year went by before the airline noticed that he had rebooked a single ticket more than 300 times and never actually went anywhere. Airline officials admitted there was technically no rule against it, but they still confronted him and convinced him to turn in his meal ticket, which he did for a full refund. Is that what you call a gravy plane? Number 7. Price Glitches Don't fly off just yet. There's another loophole to game the airlines and other businesses that suffer price glitches. Websites like Secret Flying and Airfare Watchdog monitor airlines for price errors, which can result from typos, like a $15,000 fare going down to $1,500 because someone forgot a zero. Signing up for these sites allows you to get text or email alerts as soon as an unnaturally low price is found. Airlines aren't the only companies that have glitches either. As an unemployed shop clerk in the UK, Ashley Swan discovered a few years ago. She now makes a living off her website, ashleymoneysaver.co.uk, where she also emails her tech subscribers with pricing glitches on everything from toys to boots. She also advises her followers about doubling up on deals and other handy loopholes to save money. Number 6. Open a strip club in Idaho In Idaho, strip clubs are illegal due to puritanical public nudity laws, 
but having nude people on display for art purposes is not. So one clever entrepreneur opened a strip club, but handed out sketch pads to customers and called the nude dances art classes. To be fair, some of his patrons actually did sketch the ladies, and a few of those sketches have made it onto the walls. However, the naked truth is that for most customers, the sketch pad is probably just a prop to keep things legal. Number 5. Hacking Vending Machines and Slot Machines So many people have cheated vending machines by putting their dollar in with tape on one end so they could pull it back out that many of the newer machines have video surveillance or other security systems to avoid this sort of thing. A variation on this trick is also common with slot machines. Casinos have lost money to people putting in fake coins, using strings to pull their coin back out, and even using a light to blind the sensor that tells the machine when to stop spitting out money. These cheats aren't all low-tech either. A programmer named Carmichael was hired to program slot machines and built in his own special code to make the machine pay out. He got away with it for years until one of his accomplices was caught. Other high-tech methods include taking advantage of glitchy machines that respond to certain sequences of code or switching out the computer chips in the machines and using a phony bill validator to make the machine think money had been inserted. Casinos are on the lookout for this sort of behavior, and they now know what to look for, so it's best not to try out these tricks. Number 4. Buying Money to Make Money They say you have to spend money to make money, but for one man, all he had to do was buy money to make money. After the $1 coins came out, the US government was selling them for a dollar apiece with free shipping. He bought some with a cash back credit card and deposited the coins when he received them, actually making money on the deal. Meanwhile, one-time offers on anything other than money are easy to exploit. Some clever people use multiple emails to sign up for multiple accounts and get multiple coupons, free items, etc. This is common with struggling students, proving you really can learn a useful skill in college. Number 3. Get a $330,000 house for $16 Mortgages are a hassle, especially the part where you have to keep paying them every month. Fortunately, many states, including Texas, have an adverse possession law. This says if the house was foreclosed, whereby the original owner abandoned the mortgage, and the mortgage company closed shop. Any person living or squatting there has negotiation rights. All the squatter has to do is pay $16 to file paperwork claiming rights to the property. A man named Kenneth Robinson successfully did this in Flower Mound, Texas in 2011. Keep in mind that there are a lot of stipulations to this law, and Robinson spent some time researching it and finding the ideal house. If the original owner had paid off the mortgage, he could have been evicted. However, if the owner doesn't step forward and you manage to openly live in your house for a full three years, in other states it's often seven years, you can claim ownership of the property. Number 2. Free Golf Cart Tax credits for electric cars are nice, but they're usually not big enough for you to essentially get a free car. But you can get a free golf cart, providing you make it street legal by adding turn signals, mirrors, and seat belts. This is due to a loophole in the tax law that bases the tax rebate on the length of time the vehicle's battery holds a charge. Golf carts apparently have long-lived batteries, so a new street legal golf cart is basically free after the credit. This is probably something some politician dreamed up on the golf course. But who's complaining? Number 1. $50 of free coffee at Starbucks A few years ago, coffee enthusiasts were impressed by a viral video produced by Bo Chavasis. The coffee enthusiast wanted to see if he could order the most expensive drink ever and managed to get a 4730 espresso by basically adding an extra shot of, well, everything. Not to be outdone, a Starbucks loyalty member named Andrew decided to top this by getting more than $50 worth of coffee free. This was made possible because Starbucks loyalty program gives you your 12th cup of coffee for free, and customers are allowed to bring in their own containers. Andrew brought a 128-ounce clear glass vase and ordered a 90-shot espresso, walking away with a $54.75 free drink which he drank over the course of the next five days. Hey, 
You have more time for drinking when you're not wasting time on sleep, right? Anyway, Starbucks released a statement saying they discourage this kind of thing, but they haven't actually stated it goes against their rules. What crazy item would you use as a drinking container for free coffee? And do you know of any other loopholes that can be easily exploited? If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. It will help keep you notified of our future videos so you don't miss out on any awesome knowledge. Thanks for watching.